Move on to Taurus. Taurus. So Taurus, that is the very big news. You are going to have Jupiter enter your sign May 16th and will be there right in the next year. Now, you do want to watch those first days. I feel like normally when Jupiter enters your sign, it brings with it this spirit of optimism and possibility. But I think for Taurians, what's going to happen at first is all the things that frustrate you about your life, all the things that feel like they're no longer working for you, they stir so strongly in that first two week period. So watch for May, that is a huge turning point moment. Yes, it may be uncomfortable, it may be super frustrating as well, but it's about getting you honest about what's working for you and what isn't. And I see this at a, as a time of initiating sweeping changes in some ways. I mean, I just see like new career directions. Even what home is to you is gonna go through a change as well. Uh, and a new understanding of what relationship patterns are gonna continue and what you no longer are. And so wherever it is you're hoping to begin again, just be open to the possibility that you don't have all of the understanding just yet. But when we get to May, all of the frustrations and all the things that you no longer will put up with, they are stirring very strongly for you as part of getting you honest. And from there, you'll get to build truly a new understanding of what your life can be. And the optimism starts to set in as we move later into the year so that you have that sense of belief that you can make it happen and you absolutely can. Totally. I actually do think that um, Taurus have been um, struggling to enjoy their lives over the last little while and for so many reasons and definitely COVID has to do with all of our reasons but there's even more so here and what I see with the Taurus person is um, they're very connected to their homes and their families and they're, when they love they love very very hard and when their love fails them they are heartbroken and they take a long time to pull themselves back up and this year is likely going to be one when they take a good look at what's happening in their love affairs and i don't just mean their partners but their kids their girlfriends their guy friends their brothers their sisters all of it okay they're going to look at everyone and they're going to realize who's really respecting them and who is not and what their part is in that whole thing and probably aquascent this is, is you know there's a lot of this moving forward really harsh and also pulling back afterwards so this energy is like a recessive energy so i see um once the realization is there and there's probably going to be some cuts boundaries uh firm ones and realizations that they are part of the problem and what parts they are uh, creating on their own and um, one of the biggest things will be they're going to rate who has been generous with their time, with their love, with their compliments, with their kindness. So they're going to be looking at everyone in their family and seeing who has shared um, gratefulness and generosity and charity with them on a soul level. And those people that are not are going to get, um, they're probably going to get the boot. And maybe some of them cannot actually make those things happen for whatever reason this year. But you can be sure a quiet Taurus is planning their out. They are planning their out. And they'll likely either enter into council um, or take a lot of time in nature, which will be another kind of council, um, and heal themselves. And I got... And I show the cards that really, uh, I got a number of cards here, but the one that really speaks to me is the Hermit card for this. And and we we also know that this is, this is a Virgo energy, which also could be that it is a Virgo that you run to, to communicate with. It is a Virgo that you feel most comfortable with, or maybe a new friend. Um, and I would say it's a really good idea for you to connect with someone who has that peaceful vibe, who doesn't mind hearing you out, but also, has a way of checking you when you get too harsh because Taurus this has been some of your um, your issues I would say over the last little while is not being happy uh, the bull is coming out and this part has to be uh, figured out and contained 
Uh, I was seeing one of uh, one of the people I follow on TikTok. She said that the second stage of uh, t of Taurus is a uh, minot minotaur, which is that uh, you know real mean, real harsh, really heavy kind of energy. And if that's been the kind of Taurus you've been experiencing, Taurus, this is something you need to check in on because none of that's good for your heart. Never mind everybody else. It is not good for the soul. It's not good for the heart. And then I got this card, super important, Seven of Wands. And in her deck, you see there's meditation or yoga. So I, I'm going to focus on spiritual activity that brings you a peacefulness and helps you justify your, your center again, because this is what's been lacking. And I think the main thing is be around people who are giving and kind and soul warming soul warming and don't you know if you've got some harsh energies that you know you've got to heal this is the time go to the counselor get it done do it and this year i think is going to be a wonderful year of healing although it might be a year of getting out from underneath people that aren't serving you in ways that make your heart feel good that's what i got here what did you what do you think well, I love the things that you said. I think, um, you know, again, going back to uh, the Venus retrograde, maybe I'll be the Venus retrograde girl talking about that today, because if anybody is likely to connect with a love from the past, it is the Taurians out there, considering that Venus retrograde is going to happen right at the foundation of your chart. And I think that when I look at how much the energy starts to shift in May, June, July, I think that a big part of what brings this this shift within you and a new understanding of self is probably going to be somebody from the past coming back around. Now, whatever happens with them, it's almost secondary. It may or may not lead to something long term, but more relevant is what it is that you come to understand about you and how you understand how much you've changed, you've evolved and what that's going to mean for you going forward from just this year as well. So that'll be really interesting to watch for the Torians. Um, uh, Taurus is that yes they're going to be going through some relationship changes and self uh, awareness opportunities that might be spurred on by someone from the past interesting right yeah mm -hmm. nothing like your past coming back around to make you realize that you are no longer the same person I should make clear this Venus retrograde is an intense one uh, it is Venus squaring Uranus repeatedly it's a big characteristic but also connecting with Neptune. So it's almost like needing to, in uncomfortable moments, free yourself of illusions and expectations, but also really needing to look at the reality of the situation and love for all of us. An uncomfortable reality at that, we are gonna be getting very honest about where we are in love, who another person is, what we really want. Uh, in one way or another, we're gonna be led to that journey. And so, considering that for Taurians, Venus is your ruling planet, what you're coming to understand, it, it moves you that much more deeply. It shapes you that much more for a very long time to come. Aren't, isn't it um, coming in the sign of Leo? Yes, it's in the sign of Leo, which is, uh, for those who are students of astrology, that is the fourth house for Taurus. And the fourth house is the house of the past. It is understanding your roots. It is looking at old patterns, your family patterns as well. So that's where Venus retrograde is going to speak to Taurians. Wow, that's going to be a it's going to be a big year for them. Yeah, in all yeah. kinds of ways, right? It's brand new beginnings. Yeah, I I've got a lot of people in the, their family will be um, on their uh, <laughs> on their chopping block is what I was going to say. Maybe I shouldn't have said it, but they will be. They definitely will be. And, you know, some of that's good because, you know, maybe Taurus has been taking on too much and some of it might be um, uh, an opportunity for them to recheck or reevaluate. Maybe they've been too harsh or maybe they've been unfair. So this is going to be a good year for, I think, bottom line, Taurus is to uh, review, review themselves. Sort of like a big, huge Mercury retrograde for the whole year, but yeah. it's all, but it's yeah. all good. <laughs> 